How's it going my dudes? Welcome back to another Blade Lord video. So for today I'll be talking a little bit more about bonds and how you can raise them up as fast as you can. Okay, so let's start off with what the bond is. Okay, as you can see, this is my character, this is Shires. Um, right below is EXP, on the right side you can see bonds, 103.4%. Okay, so this will be a bit more evident in uh, what, what it's used for later on in this video. But for now, let's take a look at how we can raise it, okay? And then later I'll give you a little bit more advice on how you can speed up the growth. Okay, so let's go to some random uh, map like this. And then let's take a look at how the percentages increase. So for this video, I want you to take note of how many times I use certain skills. Okay, so for example, uh, I want you to count with me how many times I use my soul burst, right, for my shires, as well as my individual brave skills from my units. Okay, so I'm just going to focus on Cash, which is the, the guy on the left. I can like use his skill right now, Cash, right? He has two uh, brave, what's it called? Brave points, I guess. Okay, so if I use it once, so that's one, one secret garden. And now the second one. Okay, so that's the second secret garden as well as I got my soul burst. So that's one soul burst and two uh, brave skills. And one more. So there's one soul burst and three brave skills so far. You could probably hit like four brave skills. And there you go. The fourth brave skill activated. So let's see how how much uh, bond EXP we get from this, alright? Okay, and there you go. Okay, so I got 0.1% for Shires and 0.4% for Cash. Okay, and this is not random. Okay, so uh, whenever you use your Soul Burst, you actually increase your leading character's uh, EXP by one tick. Okay, one tick. And for every time you use your Brave skill, you increase your, your Bond uh, percentage as well by one tick. And then why am I using the word one tick? Is because if you are below 100% Bond, Every time that one tick increases, it increases by 0.5%, but if you're above 100% bond, it increases by only 0.1%. Okay, so that's only 20% less than the original below 100% bond. So this gives us a very invaluable tool with how to best push our bond levels as far as possible, as much as we can, okay? So what I'm talking about is, see this is my second team, I call it the bond farm, and it's not without reason. Okay, so. As you can see, I'm not equipping any weapons on any of my units and the reason is because I want to do as little damage as possible, okay? And then if you take a look at my accessories, uh, if you notice, everyone is running this set. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Everyone is running with uh, Favor, right? Which is increases the generation speed of the Brave Gauge by 15% when three matching sigils are equipped, okay? So uh, the, the bottom three units that I'm using, they are all using Favor and for the main unit above, I'm actually using Storm, okay, and what Storm does is increase your Soul Burst Gauge generation amount by 60% when three matching sigils are equipped. So with these two combined, with, with one single set of Storm and three sets of Favor, uh, what, what happens is I'm going to boost my Brave Gauge incre uh, increments by a lot more, by I think 45%, and because of Storm, I'm going to be able to do a lot more Soul Burst, okay, so uh, you will see a little snippet of of, of my run with this specific setup. Okay, and the, here is my favorite spot to raise my bond level. So if you go to chapter six, Operation Conquer the Swamp Banks, this is the place where I like to cheese. I like to use a, a very, a, a little bit cheesy strategy, okay, to to do this really efficiently, okay? And then you, you, you'll be able to understand why. Okay, so this is a, this is a, this is one of those typical maps with nine waves, okay, with nine waves. And it only costs me 8 energy per run, okay? And I'm going to be employing a very cheesy strategy right here, which you will be able to see in just a moment. Okay, so the idea is to only use your soul break when there is one single enemy left. So if there are uh, more than one enemy left, 
hold on to your soul to your soul burst. Sorry, I just I said soul break, right? Soul burst. Hold on to your soul burst. And do make sure that you don't ac accidentally use your uh your break uh, your brave skill to to kill the enemy uh too early, alright? So in just a moment, I think not on this wave. I don't think this wave you'll be able to see it, but starting from wave four onwards. Okay, so now my soul burst is almost max. In fact, it is max right now, and there is only one enemy left. So as such, you drop your soul burst over here, and you quickly kill it. All right, quickly kill it like that. And what you will notice is your soul burst gauge doesn't actually drop all the way to zero. So it is still running, which means that you can repeat this procedure on and on so long as you are only left with one single enemy. Okay, so for example, now there's three. You can take a look at the top left hand corner for the number of units left on the screen. Um, so there's two left. Just gonna quickly snipe this one. And now that there is one enemy left, let's lower him a little bit more. And then here we drop the soul burst and we kill him. So there you go. Now on uh, wave six, my soul burst is up and ready again. And we can drop it right before he dies. So there you go. So I think that's like the fourth soul burst so far. Yeah, so this is the this is the, the cheese that I'm using right here. So of course you want to have uh as uh you want your brave gauge to increase as fast as possible so that you can just keep spamming your your brave skills while you are doing this. And I realized that I, I I talked too much and I forgot to use my <laughs> I forgot to use my soul burst. So there should be one more soul burst over there, which I messed up. Uh, so I think in total you should be able to get about 6 Around 6 soul bursts if you do this right And then you can you can get about 7 brave skills Right so okay so now that we are on the boss stage it doesn't really matter uh, It doesn't really make a lot of sense to save your soul burst anymore So over in the boss stage you can, you can just keep spamming your soul burst just like that Alright, just keep on going. Uh, hopefully you get to drop another soul burst over here. If you have the storm um, the storm sigil set, right? If you have that, you should be able to generate two uh, two soul bursts at the boss stage. Hopefully. Because sometimes I, do, I don't manage to do it because, because I happen to kill the boss a little bit too quickly. Uh, that's why I'm not equipping any of my weapons and that's why the accessories that I'm giving to my allies are quite bad in a sense they are just like one star rarity and there you go there's another sobers yeah they are like one star rarity like not re not really upgraded not really upgraded stuff so i'm just like the bare minimum stats that you can have at your current level okay so that's that's the kind of stats that you want to go for and i think this stage is a is an excellent choice to level up your bond okay so let's take a look at how many uh how much bond exp we get okay so take note that we are supposed to get one more soul burst because I messed up that one. So that would be total of seven ticks on both Cash and Shires. Uh, yeah, like I said, we messed up one on Shires, so that's it should be zero point seven and zero point seven for Cash. Okay, but like I said just now, um, if your bond is below a hundred percent, you actually increase by a factor of 0.5, Okay, not point one. So you should be increasing about three to four percent each time each time you use uh, this strategy over here. All right, and so what do you do when you have maximized your brave gauge to one hundred percent? Well, it's it's a temporary maximization, by the way, because it increases to two hundred percent after you hit one hundred percent. So you go to brave story uh, from events. You go to brave story, and then you can like select whichever unit that you have not done. So for example, uh, I've already completed shires and cash at one hundred percent. So as you can see. Um, these are the, st the stages, so when you have a 0% bond, when you just acquired a unit, you can read one story and get some rewards. And every single time you reach the next bond requirements uh, threshold, you get more and more rewards until you hit 100% where you can increase your brave skill level. And then after that, when you hit 200%, you can increase your brave skill level once again. Okay, So for example, I've increased my Shires to 100% bond, which means that his brave skill should be level 2. and so what you can see right here, you go to his skills, under Brave Skill, superbly reduces cooldown all forest allies and it's currently level 2 out of 3. So that's what that's what maximizing our bond does. Um, and once you hit 100%, then of course you unlock the ability to unlock eh, to, to raise your bond to 200%.
Okay, so that's it for the bond section. Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and spam a little bit of summons because apparently there is going to be an event soon, all right, an event that relies heavily on, uh, on light type units. So hopefully we do get ourselves the last remaining few. Oh my gosh, completely, completely <laughs> ruined by this pool. Oh my gosh. Oh no, there was a crit. That was a crit. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and skip that. Uh, nice. I got Layla. I think she's. I think she's not the healer that I wanted. Moderate regen recovers the HP of all allies. Moderately recovers an ally's HP. The enemy in break state reduces it. Whatever, whatever. I. I don't think she's that good. I know she's like rated S, but I don't think she's that good because you look at this. Um, recovers HP of all allies when you're knocked out of battle. That's a very very niche situation when your tank doesn't do the job well. Um, and this, hitting an enemy in a break state reduces the cooldown of your healing skills. Uh, usually when you are, when the enemy is in a break state, you wouldn't even need to heal that much, I think. I don't think healing is that, a, that much of a priority. But uh, yeah, like I said, there's going to be a light type event uh, in, in about a couple of days. I mean, ra or rather light type takes priority, right? So I got another crit there and I got two... Uh, Oh, okay, okay, great. So now we, we have the perfect uh, example of what happens when you get a dupe. I already have uh, Heath Bell. So as such, what happens with a dupe is you get a plus one at the top, which is frankly not a big deal. It's, it's actually quite garbage. And you get back 100 lot stones, which is basically the cost of summoning him, right? So you basically summon him for free. They return it to you and then you're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Here's a plus one. But apparently this plus one goes up to plus 99, which is, which is quite a problem. Okay, I think this is a healer, right? Zagi. I think she's another healer. Yeah, she is a healer, and I think she's also not the one I'm looking for. Um, greatly reduces the duration of buffs, of debuffs applied to you, resistance to poison. I mean, these two, they are like, kind of like, weird, because these are debuffs, I think. I think these are debuffs. So greatly reduces the duration of debuffs. So two of them are really not to be considered. I, I, I feel like these are debuffs, I think. Um, moderate recovers the HP of all, uh, all allies. Um, Boost their defense and magic defense. Boost their attack and magic attack. She's not too bad. She's not She's not bad. I think she's okay. I think her first skill makes a lot of sense if you're gonna heal a tank. So I think I might use her. I think I might use her. Duck, duck, duck. Okay. But, well, the good thing is I have new units to to craft accessories. So that's always helpful. Am I gonna get another crit? Nope. No crits. Um... Yeah, I'm actually kind of looking for some forest type weapons as well, so that's okay. And nothing, okay, so that was a big shut out over there. Uh, can't do anymore, right? Yeah, I can't do anymore, so I guess that's it for the summons. Um, I think we go to news. Is it news? Where, where's news? Is it info? Scenario event. Is this the one? No. April 26th. Yes, I... Crap, I just, I just completely pressed the wrong button right there. Uh, April 26th. Scenario events coming. Okay, so this is a uh, unfulfilled promise. Main characters for this event. I think they're all no, they're not all light type though. Okay, dark. Assemble your strongest light team. So that's the elements of the boss. The boss is dark. So that's that's the reason why people are going crazy about uh, summoning light units, which is kind of what I was trying to do. But yeah, I guess we will see what the event holds. Um, pretty excited for the new event because it's gonna be the first event, first official event for this game, uh, Blade Lord. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed the content so far. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, I will see you in the next video.